Alright guys, uh, this is the third video now. Um, I wanted to just show some of the stuff that I've collected over the years. And, uh, yeah. So, uh, I guess we can start out with this. Like I talked about in the last video, Black Ops Hard Edition. Uh, came with this inside, and then right there was the game case I showed you. Inside of this, though, was... Pull it out and show you. My medal for Black Ops. It's got a neat little display stand. I don't display it like that because I don't want the felt to get uh, dusty. But uh, yeah, it's actually a real medal. You can take it out, pin it on yourself, walk around if you're that much of a douchebag. And yeah. So next, I guess, would be behind me. Uh, this is what I got when I bought Assassin's Creed 2, the Master Assassin's Edition from GameStop. Uh, it's a nice little statue of Ezio. I showed off this in my unboxing of that game, actually. So then when Assassin's Creed Brotherhood came out, I knew I had to get the Collector's Edition. Like I talked about in the last video, they were out of the regular edition. But this one came with a jack-in-the-box and the key. You get a different key and a different jack-in-the-box depending on where you bought it. I bought it at Kmart. So, let me see if I can get this open. There we go. I got, obviously from the key, the doctor. Pops up and down, you know. Regular jack-in-the-box. It's cool. It's got the logo on all the sides. Uh, it says the title on the top. I don't know if you guys can see that. But sometimes it is pretty hard to open. So yeah, that's all from everything behind me other than uh, my Duke Nukem Forever figure. My buddy actually picked this up for me as a late birthday present. So thanks Chad. And uh, yeah, it's pretty badass. Just like Duke. Because Duke is pretty badass. I'm setting him down. I don't want his cigar to fall out. Because uh, that would be bad. But, uh, yeah. Picked this up uh, when it came out. It's the uh, art book that came with the exclusive edition. Exclusive. The collector's edition of Saints Row 2. And, uh, starts off with some hand drawn stuff. Then it gets into some CGI. Uh, cars pretty cool smaller than I thought it would be um, this is a poster that came with it I apologize because my fan is on but there's the city still water then on the other side you get a poster of the characters So when I picked up Assassin's Creed 2 Collector's Edition, Master Assassin's Edition, whatever you want, came with an art book. Yeah. I don't want to show like every page, it's going to take like 15 videos to do all that. But it just shows the art of the game, yada yada, the animus, the anismus. Yeah. So that's the Assassin's Creed 2 art book. Then the Assassin's Creed Brotherhood art book, which also inside has a little mini poster. Uh, graphically signed by the uh, development team. It's not really like they signed it with like a gold sharpie. But on the other side is the map. I'm hoping to get these all these posters and stuff I have hung up soon but you know, there's I pray this is in frame because if not I'm going to have to redo it all uh, when GTA 4 came out I did pick up the special edition of it uh, came with a lock box safe I guess you can call it it was about this big and uh, I don't know where it is 
Otherwise, I'd be showing it to you guys, but it was just a little black safe looking thing. It opened up with a flap. Came with a key. Came with an art book. Which I'll flip through real quick. Since GTA was such an epic game when it came out. Show some of the cars, the weapons. And the other thing it came with was an actual, I call it a mini because it's pretty small, but a duffel bag, Rockstar. Uh, the inside is lined with uh, Rockstar. I don't know how easy that is to see. Little Rockstar logos. And for some reason inside of it is my Slipknot mask. <laughs> Not sure why that's inside of it, but... Oh well, I dug that out earlier today. Um, let's see. A while back, me and my friend Chad were just going around town, and we ended up stopping at 7-Eleven, and they had these cups, and I picked up the Assassin's Creed Brotherhood Slurpee Cup. So that's always been a little cool collection. Um... Those of you that saw my unboxing video of my Tekken Limited Edition, you saw the art book. If not, I'll flip through it real quick. Yay! It's actually a pretty good art book. I'm not dogging on it in any way. Um, and here is that box, that Tekken 6 Limited Edition. And the other item it came with, and the main reason I bought it, was a wireless Hori fight stick. So yeah. Um, the first thing I ever bought from GameStop's Power Up Awards program was a poster. And they sent it to me really quick. I was shocked. And I've yet to hang it up, so I guess I can show it to you guys now. But it is pretty much the same poster, pretty much the same, that came with the limited edition of Assassin's Creed Brotherhood. But it's huge. A lot bigger than I thought it was going to be. They don't give you the size on the website. I'm going to spend the entire rest of this video folding this up again. Or rolling it up. Like I said before, I'm hoping to get all my posters back up eventually. Slide that back in there. Um, my Fallout New Vegas collector's edition. You guys saw me unbox this if you saw the video. Quite a few people saw it. Comes with the comic book. Everything got thrashed around in the move, no. Yeah, it's actually like a full-on graphic novel. I don't know why I said comic book. Um, my Platinum Lucky 38 chip. Some poker chips. I don't want to go into too much into detail here. Uh, what is this? This is the Making of Fallout New Vegas DVD. Advertisement for Brink and Hunted and the Fallout playing cards. I forgot to put the graphic novel back in there. Why didn't you guys remind me? So, uh, now I guess I'll go in to show you some of my collectible game guides. I'm not going to show you all my Brady games game guides because I've got too many of those. But uh, I picked up this one, uh, Metal Gear Solid 4, Guns of the Patriots, Tactical Espionage Action. And uh, I picked this up after I had already beat Metal Gear Solid 4. And the main reason I picked it up was because it's got pretty much the entire history with everybody's background stories and everything in it. So that was a really cool pickup for any fan of the games. Uh, the Fallout 3 Collector's Game Guide. If you're going to beat Fallout 3, you probably need this. Or if not this, some kind of online guide. 
But I mean, this thing shows you where every little thing is. Shows you how to get to every place in the game. Tells you how to complete all the missions with positive karma, neutral karma, negative karma. And then the Fallout New Vegas official official collector's edition game guide. And uh, this one actually broke a uh, Guinness World Record for the most words in a book, I think it was. It beat out like War and Peace, I think it was. But uh, it's got the little limited edition number down there to let you know that it is, in fact, the collector's edition. And that is my collector's books that I have. Um, let's see what else do I want to show you guys. I don't have too much time left in this video. I guess I can get started on. Um, I go to GameStop a lot. And when I'm there, I often ask them if they are currently throwing any of their stuff away. Promotional posters, all this stuff. And sometimes they are, so I ask them if I can have them, they always say yeah. So I'm going to show you guys the ones I've picked up so far. Uh, I've got a Duke Nukem Forever panel. It's pretty sick. Hope I didn't hold it too high. A Mortal Kombat panel. Coming soon. Okay. Because it's Mortal Kombat. Never really understood that, but I don't think anybody else has either. Let me lay these down. This is one of my older ones, Killzone 2. Dead Rising, the Chop Till You Drop Wii Edition. Resistance Retribution, the uh, PSP game. And they'll be on 9 the show, my old favorite poster since I'm a baseball fan. My new favorite poster. This one's huge. <laughs> Mario vs. Capcom 3. Fate of Two Worlds. <laughs> Hope you guys can see all that. I do not want to remake this video. And this one's even bigger. A huge Silicon 4 panel. Shows what the uh, full deployment edition comes with. Pretty cool. I'm going to move it side to side just to be sure. Slide that underneath the tripod. So that's it for my posters. And then sometimes they give me the boxes that they set up. So I picked up a Halo 3 ODST box. Not the biggest Halo fan, but picked up two of these. Sent one to one of my buddies since he is a Halo fan. But not a fan boy. Just want to make that clear. Mortal Kombat. Got this same day as the Mortal Kombat panel I showed you. Pre ordered today and received the exclusive classic Scorpion skin and fatality. Only at GameStop until it's released or downloaded everywhere. SOCOM 4. It's cool because it looks just like the SOCOM 4 box, except you can't open it. And then on the back, it shows the deployment, full deployment edition again. And L.A. Noir. Not the actual cover, just a little. Because I think they made this box before the actual cover was released. So, yeah. That's what I got. Look around to make sure I don't forget anything. <laughs> oh, um, I do want to share this little one. Um, I went to uh, the Midnight Launch. Of my eye. Probably dust from all this dusty stuff I have. Uh, the midnight launch of uh, San Andreas at GameStop when it first came out on PS2. And they were handing out like these little like goodie bags and stuff all the time. And it had a bunch of stuff in it. It had like a poster, which I have over there, uh, hung up on the wall, so I can't really show you. And uh, a bunch of little stickers. And I, for some reason, didn't stick this up anywhere, but it's a American flag, rock star logo. I don't know. I've always thought it was pretty cool. I have all the other stickers and stuff hung up on the walls because I like GTA. What can I say? 
So that's pretty much it. I can honestly say. So uh, thanks for watching, uh, and stay tuned for the playthrough videos.